When the UNCG Spartans returned to campus Saturday night after winning at East Tennessee State and clinching the program's seventh Southern Conference regular season championship, the team went straight to the gym and cut down the nets. Normally, we'd be cutting down nets in front of the crowd or in front of fans and celebrating and that type of thing. And we haven't had that this year, but I didn't want to take away that moment they could have. Uh, it's symbolic of cutting down nets and having a moment, you know, something they can take, say, we won a regular season championship, here's my net. And I also want them to get practice. You know, hopefully it's something that we all do again, whether it's next week or, or down, the, down the line. I hope it's not the only time they ever cut down nets. Three wins in three days at the Southern Conference Tournament in Asheville, and the Spartans will get to cut down the nets again and would be heading to the big dance. Isaiah Miller is the only current Spartan that played on that team back in 2018 that won the SOCON and went to the NCAA tournament. I want a bad man. I really want a bad. I'm going grind, to grind this whole week just for that one game on Saturday, and I'm going to make sure my team is going to be right there with me. The road so far has been interesting for the G, and this has to be some type of a record. They won the regular season championship despite being the worst shooting team in the league, last in field goal percentage, last in three-point percentage, second to last in free throw shooting. So how did UNCG get it done? Number one in defense field goal percentage, number one in turnover margin, number one in rebound margin. And it shows that we value the things that we can control every night, uh, how we guard, how we rebound, uh, our decision making in terms of how we take care of the ball, the things that you mentioned. You know, those are the things you're really proud of as a coach. Now, all that said, I'd be real happy if we start shooting it good this weekend. That'd make things a lot easier. Three wins in three days, and the Spartans will pull out the scissors for some net cutting again. But first things first, they're focused on Saturday's quarterfinal game against either Western Carolina or the Citadel. Danny Harnden, Fox 8 News.